this got halted, people. I, I, you know, yes, it's gapping down. Yes, it rates good. It's just, you know, it was a, it's already been halted. And I don't know if I want to do it because of that reason. <clears throat> This is gonna work. This is gonna work. I think this works. This, I don't know if it works, and if it does, it's gonna be late. This works too, and I think it's gonna be really big stop and very sloppy. Nothing screams at me, amazing. <clears throat> Six minutes to decide what to do. Which is not a long time. I think I'm going to watch a. Uh, and CLF. And if you want to do this, just be careful. Because it got halted. I'll, I, I rate it. I, I don't, I'm not crazy about this, people. I know some of you like it, but I don't really want to watch three things. I think this works. I just don't think it has a big target. And I'm not going to let that make my choice of doing it because the other day, whatchamacallit, went ABX went to a massive target, so that could happen today on this CLF. So I might do that or AAL. These are going to be my two watches today. If you like something else, do it on your own. Any questions? Market bullish. Tough area here. Tough area. Could get over the area here. Unlikely we fall. So, I mean, would really be very bullish to get over this. But it's going to try. So bullish this market. It's a carrot this. Everything looks the same. <laughs> this, this, this looks good too. This just has a small target as well. The PACB. Look, this just went to 14 something. We, I'm, I'm, I don't think I'm going to do this, but you're on your own if you want to do it. We'll look at it. I think it's, I think it looks wild. I said AAL and CLF. CLF here in the middle, AAL is the main one. There's just a ridiculous amount of things to look at today, but I'm saying that I think, you know, the SNCR got halted just a half an hour ago. Just don't want to feel like dealing with that. And now it just dropped even more. That could get halted on the live day. It very well could work though. Be careful if you do it. If you do it, I wouldn't hold it. If you do it, you gotta move in and get out. And if for some reason, neither one of these sets up, I will go and flip then to the MLNX. That was my third pick here. Everybody should be able to hear me. So what are we doing with this? AAL, 4340, 43. Got a 
Good luck, everyone. We'll talk when we're done. I know some of you are here for the open house. Just watch then if you're, just observe if you don't know what to do. Or you can take the trade, but you don't know what we're doing here, so I'd be careful. This looks good. <clears throat> good luck, everyone. AAL is my top watcher today. If it does the setup, I'll flip to CLS. And if neither of these sell set up, then I'll just have to find something. There's plenty to do. Okay. Yeah, this isn't open yet, and here's AAL. Okay, just, just, no one should be in this yet. Just let it fall. <sighs> I have such a good high. I, look, here, this didn't set up yet, but it looks good. All right, let's figure out where we're putting this stop. This is not going to be small. <clears throat> 44.10, and I don't have the entry yet, but that's going to be the stop. This is not going to be small. Here, let's just wait. I'd like a much, much better entry in this here. Here, I'm taking CLF off. Let's just focus on AAL. Let's do 30 by 10. This is a bigger stop than anticipated, and don't jump the gun on this. 30 by 10. 30 by 10 AAL. Don't jump the gun, because we could have a better entry. Take it, get it, get it now. It's fine. Get it, get it, get it. Get the stop in. 10, 10, 10, 10. 40, uh, 44, 10. Here, be in it, be in it. It's fine. It's going to hit. Yeah, there it is. That was good. You can take it. Let's look at the market. Okay, let's see where this is going to go. You can be in it if you're not in it. 44, 10 is plenty of room. Actually, it didn't break the low, but that's okay. I'm in it. You can be in it. If it backs up again, you know, maybe we can get it. We can get more. Uh, let's look at here. Here it goes. AAL. Crap. I don't know where this is going to bounce. 40 here. Unfortunately, this is very close to the first target. I'm going to get out of half if it bounces at 43. Here. Here it goes. Here it goes. Nice call. Here, here it is. I hope everybody got it. I'm sure this is breaking early. Here, here it is, AAL. I didn't get to 43 yet.
One more push in this and I'm probably gonna take half and let the rest ride just because of the size of the stop. Here, it's gonna break the low again, AAL. Well, it didn't yet, but it looks like it's gonna. Here it goes, here it goes, AAL, come on, do it. Here, there it is, there it is, here. I can't look at anything else right now, people. No, it didn't it didn't get down under it yet. Here. There it goes. Come on, come on, come on. There, there it is, AAL, beautiful. Crap, here it goes. In fact, if it breaks 43, I'm gonna take it all. Here, a, a here. This probably goes to 42 though. Here it goes, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh crap. <sighs> no, I didn't get it, I didn't get out of it. That was a quick bounce. Here, let's just wait. It's trading really wild. Let's look here at uh, the market. Okay, you could have been out of half in there. I was gonna get out of half of 43 and then I I, I just thought I was gonna break it and it just bounced so quickly. It's fine though. Let's give it one more one more push and then I'm just gonna get out. Here, AAL. See, I didn't get out of any here. I think it's got more to go, but let's just see. This is it. In fact, if it doesn't break the low here, I'm going to take it. But I think it does. Here. Here it goes. AAL. Nice call. Man, uh, I, I rated 7,000 things today to pick this here. Here it goes. AAL. Here. There it is. Here. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Crap. Come on. giving us like one second here 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 one more second to break here here it goes here I said I'm out I'm out I'm not letting it get over 43 again do whatever you want this could go to 42 50 42 whatever it looks great it looks great here it's still going I'm out yeah look at it 
Beautiful. 4250. The gator's out. I mean, this looks good. I just don't want it to bounce back up again. So you could be out of it completely. You could be out of half. You could be holding it all the way down if you want to. Love to trade gaps is out. Okay. I would be bar by bar in it now, though, for sure. See if it breaks 80. If it doesn't, just get out. Journey Woman's out. This this will this will this will go to 42 today, but it could reset up before that happens. So, you know. Here, look. Here, it's trying to break 80 80. What a nice call. I have no idea how I got this today. I rated one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I rated ten things today. <laughs> I rated 10 things today. This is the, I'm, I have not rated this many things all year. I rated 10 things today. I don't know how I picked the best thing here to fall this fast. It's That screams Melissa all over it. <laughs> Let's just see if anything else worked. Here, this worked too. I, and then I took this off my screen. You could have done it. I didn't call this exactly, but I told you. I told you this would work as well. Nice move in here for this baby stop. And a nice move for CLF. Pyro's out, 456. It's been a great week. Thank you. Freddie's out. Nice pin, Melissa. Made money in a two-day trial. Yep. Here, it's going to break 80. Bob wants me to look at MLNX. Here, I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't look at everything again yet. Here. Uh... Did anyone do this? This actually set up pretty clean. Let me just see where it went. This was a great move. Look at that. A buck fifty in here. This is really, really nice. I, I I can watch this if you really want to do another trade, Bob. Did you did you do AAL? Now, this is going now, but I wouldn't do the one minute. <clears throat> I, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do the one minute. I wait for the two minute confirmation. So. This looks like it has more to go. Here's the two minute. If you want to do the two minute, you can do it or wait for the five. But this did have a big move already. This could, this could go to 40 today. I don't feel the need to do anything else. I wouldn't do the one minute on this. This did not work like I thought that it really wouldn't or that it would work late. So this is going to try to set up late, but I think it looks like crap. So I wouldn't, I would, really wouldn't do that. And this worked too. Look. Oh, my Lanta. This was a good gap too. And I thought it had a small target, but this had a big move. Just like CLF. You could have done this too. Look, this went to, I said, 380, 375. Wow. Did anyone do the PACB? Here. Is anyone still in the AAL? Wow. Here, it's going to 4250 right here now. So you could have bar by barred this, I'm out, but you could have bar by barred it. You would have you would have really had to have your hand in the button in case it bounced back up. It's a beautiful move. Rumi's still in it. Koala Bear's still in it. Good job. See if it breaks 50. If it does, it could just go right straight down to 42. Oh, and I did a great job today. I did a great job today. Ten things. I picked the best one. All right, let's look at everything. This, no. This looks like a piece of crap this did work I'd be out this looks crappy too oh what happened with this it did work and it looks like it didn't get halted did anyone do the NCR and SNCR that everyone was talking 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 about if this had a good move in here down to 13 Still an AA? Disciplined dude? 
Wow, this will be a big day for you then. How much are you up? Bar by bar it. Try to hold it down or just take it here if it bounces over 50. Here, get out if it bounces over 50. This is a big day for you. How much did you make? Wow, this just went to the dream target here in PACB. Here, this looks better in here, Bob. Here you go. This looks okay now. You could do it with a stop at 43. 19 by 43, it's wide. This looks better in here now, this MLNX, to, to make another leg down. Right in here, you could do it. 19 by 43. You got to be wide with a stop on this. You only did 300 th shares, so that's better than nothing. <coughs> that's better than nothing. Oh, what happened to this one? It didn't really work. And everybody wanted me to look at this one too. Okay. All right. What do you want to go over? Here's the market making the move over the high and the queues. So bullish. Ridiculously bullish. Be out of all your shorts. Everything's going to bounce back. Even the weak stuff. Market's making another new high. If you if you did and made money in the AAL, which everyone should have, you should be out. Um, and this here, I don't know why I'd want to do anything else. Given the market, given the tone of the market and, and the fact we made money in AAL so quickly, even though this looks good, I really, I wouldn't take any chances. I just wouldn't. <clears throat> um, so what do you want to go over? That's it. Our day is done. We can go back to bed. I'm tired. It's raining. <laughs> I have to go to the gym yet today. Um, discipline, dude. Be happy that you actually made money today. You have to be happy that you took the trade. You haven't been trading. Be happy. You've got to get back in a groove. You've got to. Where did the ones from yesterday go? Let's look at X. You are happy. Good. We're taking a happy barometer. <laughs> I did rate aisle. Scroll up. I put it in the room. I rated 10 things today. I rated everything. I was rating up until Vimas were the open. Um, X. Fell a little bit today, but the big move really was yesterday. So this could have some of a bounce back in here. And then Cree had a big drop, then had a really hard bounce. Uh, you're just going to leave this here today. So this, this, lo and behold, this ended up working and holding. They haven't halted it, but I saw that this morning and I was like, eh. If that hadn't happened, maybe we would have done this. So, but, but I, you know, I felt more comfortable doing AAL and it worked. So, but this felt quick too. This felt quick and hard. And did anyone do it? When you see something like that in the morning before you trade that's halted, you got to know there's a possibility it could happen then on the open. I don't think this was expected to report. And this thing worked. We could have done this little tiny guy. All right, let's go over the let's go over the market quick. Uh, so the market's been bullish, but you know people don't know what to do with this because they think it's got to pull back and it's got to pull back and it's got to pull back. You know, it doesn't have to. It doesn't have to pull back. It can just keep going if it wants to. Eventually, it will pull back, but you know you can't predict that. You predict the gap, the direction that it makes in the gap. So today, the market gapped up, and if this was really going to fall today, then we would have opened neutral and fell, or we would have gapped down and fell. So the fact that we gapped up this morning and held the way we did early here—it's you know 20 minutes into the open. 
I think we're really going to make it over the high today. Very, very bullish. And this is an indicator here because the SPY is close to the high and hasn't done it yet. So we, we're going to get up here. And we may get up here before we pull back. I don't know. We don't have to. 240.32. This should fly, though, once we get over this area here. You can tell that people shorted this market in here. What a stupid thing to do. So the market will fly over this bar from yesterday, whenever it gets over it, whether it's today or tomorrow, another day. Here, Bob, did you do this? See, when you're up money, just be done. I still think this looks fine, but it's not ready to go again because of the market. What a relief. What a relief. <laughs> What's the relief? This could go to 42, you know. You were feeling so much pressure. You are funny. You people are hilarious. All right, what do you want to talk about? What do you want to go over? Anything? Let's look at IBM. Let's see how that's doing. Looks good. Looks like it's going to break. Looks beautiful. You were cut out? What do you mean, Obi-Wan? Weren't you in the room? What happened? I have no idea how I picked this today of the 10 things I read to do it. I went with my gut. You could have done a bunch of things today. I'm very happy that I, I listened to myself. Focus, 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 focus. I don't know how many of you were screaming, screaming to do this today. It has gone nowhere. If I had listened to the room that wanted to do this today, we, would, we wouldn't be up a dime. <laughs> uh, Obi-Wan, didn't you do anything? All right, let's see what's out for tonight. I have a jiggy off. Let me just look up tonight's. Let's get excited for tomorrow. Today is pretty much over. What is tomorrow? Tomorrow's Friday. This week went really fast. Let's see what's out for tonight. Is that right? Google's tonight? No. April 27th. Yes. Google's tonight. Google's tonight. Amazon is tonight. Yep. Market's going to make a new high in the spy pally between today and tomorrow. One of those is going to report massively up and it's going to move the market. There you go. Uh, Baidu, I don't even know that. I haven't been looking ahead anymore. Uh, GoPros tonight. Clack. SWKS. SRPT, let's look at that one. There's a ton of stuff tonight, but I didn't know Google and Amazon were tonight. Yeah, I didn't know that. Not that it matters, I'm not in anything with them, but. So this is a watch for tonight. Here, tonight's watches. So this could be a good one for us. Let's look at the clock. Does anybody have any questions or want to go over anything? Nice quick day. Hard drop. Uh, this this will watch. I don't know what this does. But no, I, I didn't realize Google and Amazon were tonight. So that's very, very interesting. It's probably going to be Amazon. So the market probably moves higher tomorrow with, with one of these symbols reporting up big. And it's probably going to be Amazon. Oh, look, Bob, did you do this or not? It's so good to just rest after you do a good trade. I hope you didn't because it's flipping now. Okay, good. Made money in AAL. Thank you, Melissa. You're welcome. So 
So again, you could have done this one and the AAL, which was my two top watches today. Although I didn't give the exact call on the CLF, but it worked. So I have to figure out something for that for going forward, how I possibly can can call two things or do two things. I think it would be more beneficial for the room. Um, and I have to think about it in my head and really start, start tracking them. Because this was the top watch today along with the AAL, and it worked. And I didn't realize that this had earnings out. I don't know if it was this morning or last night, but then when I saw it, I looked at the chart. Nice trade, thank you. Does anyone have any questions or want to go over anything? I don't know what we get tomorrow. There's tons of stuff tonight, tons of stuff tomorrow. Expect the market to continue in the bullish trend it's been, at least for the foreseeable future. And uh, it hasn't affected us at all. We're still getting the nice short moves and things. This ended up having a big push down Probably does set up in the 15 minute and gets to 42 today. This is on its own without the market. This will not recover today. It will not go green. It will stay red today. But I would not jump back into it in a one or two or five minute chart. You got to sit and wait for the 15 minute to set up and, you know, it could be an hour, could be two. I'm not going to do that. So we did what we do in the morning and I held this for the break. I should have held it like three minutes more. But still did a good job picking the right thing here. I don't do anything different any day of the week. British Michael Jordan. I don't. I do the same thing. Whether it's earnings season, whether it's not earnings season, we still get gaps. The only difference between today and, 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 and during earnings season and not earnings season is I rated ten things today. There's more to rate during earnings season than non earnings season. But I got to tell you, that doesn't necessarily make it any easier. I mean, I was sitting here up until six minutes before the open trying to decide what to do. Although I really was partial to AAL when I saw it at, you know, initially this morning. And the PACB I knew would work. I just didn't know if that would have a big move or not. But just like the ABX, cheap stock had a big move. You could have bulked up on that thing. So it, it, I can't even say it makes it easier when it's earnings season as far as for me to run the room because I have more things to, to, to choose from. And obviously not all of them work. But they didn't set up. So like this one here, we wouldn't have lost money in it. It didn't set up. So we would have just wasted our time watching it and then missed the entry in AAL. I wouldn't have lost money in any of these things that failed because they didn't set up. So then I would have wasted my time watching something else and my time is very valuable, especially in the first 15 minutes. So if I had watched that, then I wouldn't have gotten this and so on and so forth. So it's, it's, it is about picking the right thing to watch to get the setup, to get the entry, to get the right pick right. But we wouldn't have lost in the things that failed because they didn't set up. I mean, there were very obvious failures. But here, this looks good again to go down lower, this AAL. But but the thing here, you could do this if you want. I have conviction in this. You could put the stop at 43.20. You could short this here, 79 by 20, if you want another trade, AAL. Anyways, um, so I, I can't even say it makes it any easier because it was, it was hard for me today to decide which one should I watch. And I want to watch two, or I did watch two, but I don't want to watch three or five or six or ten. So, you know, in non earning season, you might rate three things, and then it's very easy to watch two or three. You know, it's very easy to determine if they're going to work or not. And then some, you know, some days we may not get anything. We may not do anything. There's the AAL again. It's probably going back down to 42. Um, but, but the problem is that when you have a lot, you really got to make sure you still get it right. So... What's what's better than not? You make more money in earnings season. You do. You do because you never have a day where you don't have something and things have big moves. You know, AKA Cree yesterday. I mean, look at this sucker. So things have big moves in earnings season. Everybody's watching them and you have, you know, gaps every day. In not earnings season though, you still have to be very picky about what you do. You may have some days you don't trade, but that's okay. But when you have a lot of things to look at, and I rated 10 things today, you still got to get it right. So, It's the combination of the gap itself and then seeing the entry. This, this was a good gap today, but it never set up right. This chart looks horrible though, I'll tell you. So I, you know, I wouldn't be long it and I, you can't short it here today. But this looks bad, this FFIV. But you know, as a day trade today, there's nothing to do with it. You can't go on this and you can't short it either. 
Every day we get a good gap. I trade. Mondays are the slowest. Here's the market going over the high. Ay, ay, ay. This is another great call of mine. Look at this. 135.51. We're six pennies away. So I don't know, and don't take a trade in this, but I think one of these things gaps up in, in, tonight, and I think that it's probably going to be Amazon. It's been interesting because I've noticed, why isn't this moving? Why is this so sluggish? Why isn't this going with Google? Why isn't it going anywhere? And now I realize why. It has earnings out tonight. So I think this is waiting for the report, and I think it has a big move, and I do think it's going to be up. In fact, let's just look just for the heck of it to, to, laugh, to laugh out loud because I'm sure this is so expensive to do as an option that none of us would ever risk a dime. But let's just look at it so we can laugh at ourselves because I, I haven't looked at this in so long because I know it's just, it's just outrageous now. But let's just look. 914 it's at right now. Do, do, do. Well, actually, tomorrow's Friday. Yeah, so. This is this is so ridiculous. The, the the ones that are 992 no 990s the 990s are almost a buck that's 80 that's almost 80 points away and you would have to be over the strike because the expiration is tomorrow <laughs> you would, it would cost you a dollar and you it would have to gap over or trade over 990 to be even you know you'd have to be at 992 to make one dollar on it by tomorrow. <laughs> so ridiculously expensive. Uh, but we'll watch it. All right. Does anyone have any questions about anything else? Good job today, people. We'll see what we get tomorrow. Open house continues. I'm sure we'll get something good. I don't know what. Glad everybody followed me today. I think every, no one had any hot time issues, it looks like. If you have questions, email me. Fine day. Fine day is indeed. Focus, focus, focus. All right. Have a good day, everyone. Have a good day. And I'll see you tomorrow. We made money today. Our, our job is done. <laughs> All right. You're welcome. Bye-bye.